Hello! Today I'll show you guys how you can detect damage from players or from the environment. So enjoy. First, include this uh, using fortnite.com slash game. Also, fortnite.com slash characters like that. So first, you need a reference to your player to actually know when they get hit. Um, I'm going to do this by creating a players list variable. So players uh, is going to be of type uh, player array. So we initialize a empty player list. You also have to make sure you make it bar so we can uh, change our list later on. Next here in our on begin, we're going to populate our player list by doing bar players e play space dot get players. And that's going to give me a list of all players. So you want to do set. So now let's make the function that will run anytime our player gets hit. So I'm going to call this handle player hit. And it's going to take a damage result, damage underscore result. So this is the thing that's going to be taken like that. And then print. Okay, now all we have to do is sort of uh, make this function it called any time a player gets hit. And we do that by going here. Firstly, you can either get your first character, which is player of zero, or you can do this for every player. I'm going to do this for every player. So I'm going to do four player in players, basically looping over the entire player list. Uh, we're going to get our fourth character. So fourth character colon equals player dot get fourth character like that. So for every player, we get their fourth character. And for every fourth character, we call the damaged event like that. And then dot subscribe our handle player hit like that. So what subscribe does is it listens to the event, in this case, damaged event. And then it calls the function that's inside of the parentheses of subscribe, in this case, handle player hit. So let's test that out. Okay, so I'm in my game. Very intentional thing of damaging myself. So if I fall... But you can see player got hit. Okay, cool. But how do we detect if someone else hits me? You know, because that's just a uh, general player got hit. So anytime I take damage in general. But what if we want, for example, say we want to know when someone else hits me. All right. So the way we're going to do this is by using our damage result. We can see we get this passed on anytime our player gets damaged, but we're not actually using it, except this is very powerful. We have a few uh, different options here. Or we have good information. In okay. So the first bit of information is going to be whoever gets uh, hit, the target player. And we can get that by calling uh, target colon equals damage result dot target. It's going to give us a target. Now, this target, if you look here, it's of type uh, damageable, which is not a player. However, we can cast that to a player uh, doing the following. So we can do if, let's see, fort character uh, hit colon equals, we're going to do fort underscore character of target. So what this does is something what's known as casting which means we turn something into some other thing that's just basically it so we convert uh, this damageable target into a fourth character which we then assign to this fourth character who was hit so that's how you can get your fourth character and you can do whatever you want with your target now the next thing we can get the amount by doing amount colon equals damage result dot amount pretty straightforward that's going to be the amount so if if we can get our fourth character so actually i'm going to print my amount here so i'm just going to do print uh was hit for amount and then the next thing that's uh useful okay now how we actually get the player who hit uh you know us or the target player is by getting the game action instigator and we can get that by doing if instigator colon equals damage result dot inst instigator now we get an error because we have to add this question mark at the end and that's because this damage instigator is what's called an optional all right so now an optional you can think of it as sort of a uh, mystery box inside of the mystery box you can either have nothing or you can have something in this case it's a game underscore action underscore instigator now uh since of course this mystery box is closed we don't know what that is we want to actually get whatever is inside of that mystery box. In this case, the actual game action instigator. To actually open uh, the mystery box, we have to place this question mark. Otherwise, that's like giving a mystery box to someone, but they just get the actual box. They don't get the content inside. I hope that made sense, but um, that's kind of what optionals are. Anyway, now we get the instigator, but that's still not a player. Uh, we can convert that to a player by doing agent colon equals instigator dot get instigator agent now we can then convert that to a fourth character by doing fourth character instigator i'm just going to call it colon equals agent dot get fourth character and with that we can do whatever we want with uh the actual player who damages us so we can do fourth character instigator dot damage so we can i guess reflect some damage back so we can do damage amount times 2.0 so if they hit us we can reflect the amount back by uh, the factor and i'm also going to print out print so let's test that out let's see if that works all right i'm in my game i have my second account if i um, go up here and uh, whoops i foolishly jump off 
crazy, I, I get hit by them at 35 point whatever. Now, if someone else hits me, let's say for this. Oh, you can see they took twice the damage back, which uh, was lethal. Now, that's probably not the intended effect and the issue. Um, okay, so the issue is that we've set this handle player function on every single player, but we also call a player dot damage function on the instigator. But every time we call this dot damage function, it's going to count as a player damaging themselves, which uh, makes them both the target and the instigator. So that's why they get damaged again and again by sort of hitting themselves. Now, I'm just going to fix this by just making one player call the handle damage function so for example if you want a boss that uh, reflects uh, all the incoming damage if boss whatever equals players zero and then fort boss equals boss dot get fourth character and then we can just do the boss dot damaged event dot subscribe and the handle player hit so only whenever the boss gets hit, uh, then, you know, we call this, which will damage uh, the instigator back by a certain amount. All right, so you see now I should only get hit once. Uh, so if I do this, bam, there we go. Uh, and as you can see, for example, I hit this player. You can see they, they don't have the damaged event, so I don't get... So yeah, uh, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, where am I?